welcome back to more Netrunner from San San Francisco, San Francisco Bay Area Netrunner. I have another game from the 2016 regionals at Game Castle Mountain View, Mountain View, California, the Googleplex, and I have with me commentating Andrew. How are you doing today, Andrew? I'm doing great. Are we talking about Netrunner today? We got some Netrunner. So... Uh, this is a Democracy and Dogma. I had, it, I had it as business first in the previous video. This is actually Democracy and Dogma. Political operative, operative was out. IG was out of control, etc. Et and this is a game from the finals. So this is the first game of the finals. The players, Greg Monson on the left, playing Chris McLennan on the right. Chris is in the winner's, uh, winner's final. So if Chris wins this game, he wins regionals, the Northern California regionals for 2016. And Greg's going to have to win two. And Max is on the right and each on the left. What do you think about this matchup? Oh, I, I really like Max. I think Max can get some typically early disruption against NEH. Um, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling the anarch on this one, baby. And we have a day job being played from Max. Just get an early burst of money. And Greg getting an early burst of money here with Temple giving him pad campaign. Yeah. This so he doesn't actually net any profit on that exchange. But he has Temple and pad campaign res. And he's at five credits. Just installing assets. Yeah, it's really it's what I imagine that this NEH deck is just that standard team sponsorship fast road deck and i just love it because it's got temples it's got ipads it's got cities it's got grids it's got football teams it's got all this crazy random stuff in it it's it's sim city the deck. yes exactly build it oh i love this okay so hacked, this is hacktivist is the current that chris just played so every time that Greg reses a card. Ooh. Uh, we'll talk about that plane. We'll talk about it. So every time Chris reses, every time Greg reses a card, he has an additional cost. He needs to trash a card from his hand, and uh, trying to sneak through Greg, the asterisk grip. Gregory being a sassy boy. Ooh, I like it. No, I. I, I, I think um, a, a lot of people were trying this type of stuff. I was I tried the same thing against Chris, and Chris called me on it. It was like, I'm doing Spark. I uh, Usually when they're down like one or two credits, they don't go check in my remotes, but Chris mm -hmm. totally did. And he got a, a Astro for me that same way. Wow. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, so he plays down Hacktivist, and then he goes to check all the remotes. It's really interesting. And, okay, so we have some more clues about the deck here. We have DDoS in the bin. Ayo. Um, Yogg there. Sure, so, you know, you see DDoS, what do you think? Seeing DDoS sounds like, oh, I can't, you can't res that ice? Keyhole. Oh, you can't res that ice? Account siphon. Followed up by a keyhole. Followed up by another keyhole. Ooh, okay, so he... Paying one? Oh, no. <laughs> Ooh. Whew. The Pergerino. <laughs> That that's that's really good like play counterplay there. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I see that play a lot. You you run against uh, NEH's remote expecting wrap round. They res wrap round. You put down David or Corroder. You run in. You get an Astro. Yeah, that's how it works. Ooh. Uh, so the he Archangel. could trigger this. Nah. He could pay three to bounce Corroder back to him. Nah. Wow, looks like he's Whoa. doing it. I don't, I don't know about that play. Uh, I think it could be good. Think of it this way. He's got um, pad campaign money coming in. Mm -hmm. um, so he's at three credits to Chris's four. But now that remote has more play in it. Like, he can put another card in that remote, forcing Chris to throw down Corroder and make a run and spend a credit. Mm -hmm. uh, as, as a tempo play, that might have been correct. And look, he's just installing more assets. Yeah. He's trying to see if he can manipulate his way through the. Uh, he wants to. What what he wants to do, I know it, is he wants to play it on all of his cards and then res everything. Oh, but right, it's right, an yeah. additional cost, so yeah. you can't you can't uh, circumvent hacktivists that way. You do have to pay the additional costs unless something allows you to res something without paying additional costs. Wow. And these assets are getting running through my camera right now. Jeez, off the grid. All right, we got Eater. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Spoilers, <laughs> Apaco has been detected. Man, that would be ruthless yeah. right now. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, man. That's a spooky Apocalypse. ghost. He, he's he's not quite ready for Apocalypse. I mean, he, he could maybe pull off Apocalypse. I don't know. Apocalypse against this uh, NH deck, it's good whenever it goes off. <laughs> yeah. 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 
And just the ice, uh, you know, anything would, would stop that. But, you know, he's not going to be able to do that anytime soon. I think he needs to, like, deja vu the apocalypse. And then you're just... Oh, so he's resing the pad campaign. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's something I forgot, too. Hacktivist is a random card, huh? Yeah, it's random. Yep. Yeah. that's So Hacktivist and Day Job, I think, are two really interesting includes here. As weird as that is to say. Yeah. That Day Job would be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the reason I say Day Job is I'm, I played Spark at this turn. Did quite well. But I, I would, like, do my standard res two ads at the start of our turns, and he's at three credits, and he just looked at me, like, looked at my cards and just threw it on day job. And I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> like, day job and lucky fine are just the bane of my existence as Spark. They yeah. hate those cards. They're really good. Yeah. Drop in the siphon. So Chris is losing a lot of... Did he just drop another DDoS, too? Yeah. It was, yeah, DDoS, wow. count siphon. That's pretty so, brutal. Two DDoS and Apocalypse and Siphon. How much influence is in the bin right now? Siphon at four, Apocalypse at three? Yep. Mm hmm. Wow. Yeah, sometimes. And is, that, is that a levy in the bin? Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Is, I, I always get this wrong. Is that three? That's three, yes. Okay. I see. I, I playing against Chris. I thought it was four, and I made a play assuming Levy was four, and being like, "Well, I have this game one. And then he plays down Levy, and I'm just like, "I look at the pips. And, oh, right. That's only three. So now I lose this game, right? right yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't get your influence wrong, people. Uh, yeah. So that's uh, ten influence in the bin right now. Ouch. Yeah. He can same old siphon at least. He can same old siphon. And he can same old Levy. But, um, I don't know, that seems a little less than ideal. Yeah. Okay. So he scores out breaking news, getting rid nice. of the hacktivist, okay. which is... that's huge. Do you, do you just start resing stuff right now, do you think? Most likely. I mean, I, I think he's going to give Chris a turn. Yeah, I mean, what Chris could do right now, if you don't res, is he could do same old hacktivist, which I don't know if that would be good, but it's something he could do. Sure. <laughs> I feel like that's... Oh, yeah, see, he, yeah, yeah. he is just resing. Yeah. Oh, and he, he has the temple credits, so he figures, why not? Yeah. Yeah, I, now same mold uh, doesn't look as good. Yeah. Oh, he's going in for a siphon? Okay, so there's four more influence. What, does he have one more influence left somewhere? Uh, what is... <laughs> Little oh, engine. Jeez. Oh, shut down. This is, Little this engine is says so no. Good. It says no. Oh, my God. That's so good. Mm-hmm. Please be a second little engine. So he did have to spend his temple credits. Um, you know, he could have used them to res. Wow. And Greg's Greg's getting all this stuff trashed right now. Yep. But I don't know, he trashes uh, a Sand Sand off of R&D and a daily business show. So temple's still there. Yeah. We still have... Sponsorship is still there, which is always... Oh, you know, I just realized he he didn't res the sponsorship before scoring the breaking news because he didn't want to risk, like, probably this agenda get in. Right. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so now he can use the sponsorship. He's probably going to put DBS back. I don't back. get DBS. Yeah. That seems good. Most likely. DBS or Sand Sand. He has oh. two Sand Sands in there, so he might favor Sand yeah, Sand. Yeah, Sand That Sand. seems like it would be important. Yep. Yeah. That feels like the right call. You're out of breaking news. I oh, know he's just taking. No. He's a uh, waffling on this one. All right, takes the, the DBS. DBS. Okay. And does not draw the card because he and drew the card from breaking news. Yeah. So I think that's what they were talking about. Okay. So Chris doing max draw. That's two sure gambles in the bin. Um, yeah, I feel like he's getting. Chris is probably getting a lot of his programs in like hardware right now. Yeah. Um, but not really getting a lot of economy and high impact run events. Yeah. Um, for sure. I think well, I counted up so many 14. <laughs> I, I counted up 14 influence. What's the spare influence on this? Maybe a shard. Oh, that could Haiti be. Yeah. shard. He's not running any most wanted list, huh? I guess not. Same old. Same old siphon. So now he's... Oh, this is a really good siphon. Because yeah. he David's through, gets five credits. Uh -huh. And, oh, man. Greg is only on five. So 
Yeah, he he should res stuff. He can res the DBS and uh, for two yeah. and fire suite for how many is fire suite three? Three to res. So he uh -huh. he could. He's trying to decide. I don't know what he's trying to decide here. But I think Chris takes the money. You, yeah, you've already done it. Uh, yeah, he takes the money. Yep. So Greg was hoping that you know he can force an access and keep two credits. Mm -hmm. But you know, I don't know. It, it, maybe that was all planned. Like Greg might have something in hand. He might have an Astro Beal in there, whatever. Mm -hmm. And so two credits is still a decision, whereas like one or zero credits is less of a decision. Oh, wow. Uh, Chris really prioritizing the Daily Business Show. Does not want Greg to have that. Yep. And I don't think Chris cares about the virus suite. No. Chris probably isn't even playing Clot, so. Yeah. Especially a Max. Ooh. It's just two variants to get it, and you're not keeping it around. Especially, yeah, because he doesn't have clone chip either. So, no. All right, so turtle backs is now activated. Two turtle backs uh -oh. now. And I think it's one more click to install. Yeah. So. And he he spent uh, temple credits for the first turtle back. Mm -hmm. So he started out his turn with zero credits, got two from pad campaigns, blacklist. Oh, so he can't levy, right? Uh, well, oh. yeah, but. He can just go trash it. Oh, yeah, that's true, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, he didn't... Oh, he's going to trash... Wow. Yeah, he's going to trash a blacklist, which he needs to do. Trash is the team sponsorship. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if he needed to trash the team sponsorship right now. Like, it's somewhat unlikely he's going to get another 2-1. Yeah. And... And he needs to sand sand to score out right now. Right. See in the top of R&D, nothing. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know if he can really afford to keep up with Greg here on this asset race. Yeah, it's it's he's gonna tire out, especially because the turtle backs are there. Just because yeah. he's gonna keep getting his money. Yeah. So for one click there, he just did three clicks of work. He spent a click and he got two credits in a card. So he, yeah. for one click, he got a free turn. Oh my god. Oh jeez, here we go. <laughs> and he he's if he installs another card here, he effectively gets another I am I'm, I'm hyperbole here because it's not really a turn, but mm -hmm. you know, he's getting like three clicks of work kind of. Right. It's uh yeah, he's at ten credits now. And that looks like probably another little engine or a toll booth, because he's not resing it. I think he could have resed it if it was something lower impact. Yeah. Uh, does, what, what is, what's Greg's play here if he's not getting these sand sands? He only has one sand sand left in the deck. I think he's got to get a Jackson to survive and so he can draw. But and Chris is being extremely aggressive on yeah. trash and stuff. I think we still have two same old things. Mm-hmm. Right, go get uh, probably Eater or yeah, David. Most likely Eater. David. Maybe. So he's going to yeah. siphon now? So, yeah. same old siphon? Um, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's huge. And, yeah. So he's he's going to get the siphon money time. This time he gets the five credits from Little Engine, and mm -hmm. he still has two David david counter so he could uh you know he can roll that into another siphon next turn right and then what he needs to he needs to set up apocalypse here um yeah he just needs to finish the board i'm, not, I'm trying to look at where his date he has one deja vu he has two deja vus in the heap so he's gotta be careful yeah he's gotta make sure he gets that levy off yeah yeah at this point he has to decide between levy and apocalypse um, I think he just straight up has to do levy. Yeah. It's two to two, so this game isn't gonna just end right away. Yeah, Unless... and you know, there's no there's no scoring potential yet. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think he's on biotic, right? We see three turtle backs, uh, probably three team sponsorship. He might have maybe has one, one biotic? biotic, most likely. Yeah. yeah. 
one biotic and, and that's all he needs to start off the train at this point he only needs to score five and he probably has another two one right he might have two two ones right like they sometimes do three breaking news one 15 minutes yeah yeah so he just if he scores a oh no same old thing just got put in the the trash did it right no oh no or that's no an old that's one. an old okay. one yeah he must be holding on to. Oh, he's just immediately Jeez. trashing that. God, he is a trash machine, dude. If he had a scrubber, yeah, just. Oh. He doesn't care about that. Nope. But he he's keeping him honest. Yeah. He's, and uh, yeah, Greg Greg's not gonna make that same mistake. Yeah. Drop an eater. So that was his turn. Three runs. Uh, go trash his team sponsorship. He just spent eight credits that turn. Yeah. All right, getting the pad campaign for free. Now he's getting three credits at the start of his turn, three credits on every install. He can't, you can't play a siphon game anymore. A siphon is not gonna, it's not gonna be impactful at all. Right. You know, he, he could do it as an econ play with a little engine, but it's it's not like a winning play. It's gonna give you money, but right, you need it's... to actually, you need to progress on, on the, you need to get accesses. Yeah. If you just let Greg do his thing like this right now, it's it's eventually just gonna it's gonna come up on him. You. Yeah, yeah. Because um. yeah, Chris needs has two problems. If he's starting, he's approaching. He's probably gonna trash a Sand Sam, and he's gonna go down in credits, and he has to get a levy. Because if he doesn't, then he has no money and no deck. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I guess he has. What we think one more deja vu and one more same old thing to levy. Right. Um, he could potentially apocalypse. Like if he deja vu's, if he gets more money, deja vu's, uh, and then next turn he can try for the apocalypse. It is possible. Sure. Right. Yeah. It's something that he can do. <laughs> and you know, it, HQ would only cost him like two credits, I think. Oh, you're saying effectively, uh, okay. Yeah, and look at this. He, he would be able to David this um, yep. Archangel. Like, this this right now might just be more of an exploratory run, like figuring out yeah, if I think, he I can think, apocalypse. I think it definitely is. Oh, Assassin. Ooh, sassy. That, one, that, one's three, that one's five to break with Eater, right? Yeah. yeah. It's that's, three for strength. It's five, yeah. He has the money. But then, he needs he right. needs um, seven up front for he needs to start his turn with seven. If he has seven, then I think he could get through everything. As is, yeah. Yeah. But he so he'd have to play deja vu, and then Greg would have to do nothing. <laughs> would have to just like let right, him yeah, yeah, exactly, this. yeah. Oh no, he just spent the David token. He's taking that damage. So he, I don't think, I don't think that's on his mind. I think he's just trying to get an R and D access right now. Yeah. Well, I think he was kind of doing yeah. two things at once. I mean, it was convenient. Yeah. Um. Yeah. He's. Oh, they're running the trace. That's right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, trash and eater. Wow. Well, if he's gonna levy, then it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, he he must be. What's he holding on to? It looks like he might have the same old thing. He's got in so, Jack, maybe. Jack, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, this is looking good so far. That's pretty good. Loses the knight, but um. That's fine. I've had worse. Sure, gamble. DDoS. Those are all DDoS less so, but the others are pretty good right now. Yeah. He needs. But you know, sure gamble. losing yeah. losing that um, eater turns off DDoS or turns off Apocalypse completely right now. Right. Yep. Well, DDoS doesn't and do anything. I'm, Ice is already rest. Yeah, yeah. I, I meant to say just losing the eater. Oh. Okay. So he has same old. He had he has same old thing. That's why he couldn't take the net damage. Uh, he's, he couldn't risk losing that. Yeah. He and he has uh, what four tags right now so he can't play that down he needs to he needs to play down and levy at the same time right yeah oh i think that was just a mistake like he he yeah. knew what that card was and just forgot yep which is understandable this is a pretty high stakes uh that's the final you game know. dude you just played regionals for god knows how many hours yeah mm -hmm. 12 hour day yeah okay so, stall uh, get a card get three, three credits, credits. <laughs> 
Can you imagine if that was in the did, corset? Did he, <laughs> did he forget to take pad campaign there? I, I don't think he did, but I, I wasn't yeah. quite paying attention. <laughs> My God. Yeah, I, I really wanted him to be setting up towards Apocalypse there. Yeah. Oh, wow. See, now this would be a really good bluffed Astro. Like, put it down and then <laughs> just ignore it. Start doing other stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Distractions. Yeah. Um, it's got sweeps or something. It's a little bit hard to see his hand. Yeah. He has. Uh, what is that? Explode a Palooza? I didn't see, but that would make sense for this deck archetype. Type. Yeah. <clears throat> So you don't have the influence for NAP, so Wait, he's just he going to levy this all, turn. Has he scored all three breaking news? Yeah, oh, okay. so there's probably another 15 minutes. Uh, yeah, and, and the, you do this because of the team sponsorship primarily. Right, yeah. And it, it's really good to recur CVS. It, uh, I know a lot of Fast Advance now is doing three CVS. This deck at least has two. Yeah, I think three is the right number if you're really trying to do Fast yeah. Advance because if you're going against Shaper, you just absolutely have to have it. If you don't, then you just lose straight up. Recently, um, Adam, he res two cyber decks to break through my clot with Sacrificial Construct, mm -hmm. and then after scoring whatever, he used two team sponsorship to install two cyber decks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he just get them back. Yeah. It's frustrating as hell. Yeah. And it, it's it's nice as well that like Cyberdex has a lot of other utility as just a like medium blocker or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, it's you can totally justify playing three. Right. It's really neutralized clot. All right. So that that was just a wow yeah just an archives run to go clear the Jackson and <laughs> mm -hmm. doesn't even have any agendas. <laughs> He's just digging for agendas. He can't get them. Yeah. All right. Daily business show, Rez. God, it would have, it would have been nice to see a, a blacklist at this point. What would you do? Like, little engine black, oh, blacklist? Jeez. Lol. <laughs> have fun. Uh, it, it would have to be before he levied, obviously. Right, yeah. But... It's interesting he had Blacklist. I haven't been seeing that card around a whole lot recently. Yeah. All right. So he's safe for the time being for Apocalypse on two vectors. He doesn't have, like, the breakers to get through, mm -hmm. and he's sitting at nine credits. Right. Oh, so here's the Astro score. Yeah, he's got to get it out. There we go. Yeah. And that brings him up to five. Yes, with an Astro token. So With an Astro token, yeah. So, you know, I, I, I can't really see his hand, but if he has a Beal Astro in there, this will be game at the end of Chris's turn. So Chris has to make something happen here. Yeah, Chris has got to rip it. It's not going to be Apocalypse. Siphon doesn't matter. What does he do? Uh, praise, man. He, he can just start running. Okay, he can just start running R&D. Well, yeah, I mean, you, that's where the agendas are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, you know, I'm, like, just let all of the subroutines fire and just draw cards faster than Assassin can kill you. Yeah. That doesn't seem like a bad thing to do at this point. Ooh, he drops Eater. It's going to hit him hard economically. He, I don't know, he doesn't have yeah. a good way to follow this up. Nope. And you have daily business show res too. He could go trash it, but that's not a winning play. He's credits. gonna, yeah, he's gonna drop down too low if that happens. So we might just see might the agenda see right here if yeah. he doesn't already have it in hand. I don't. Nothing think he does. in hand. Uh, he's an ice assassin and, and something. Drop it, drop in the assassin. So he might have pulled it. Or he pulled an asset mm. to draw another card type of deal. Yeah. Oh, he also has Jackson though. So. No, he oh, got no, it. There. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I think the Daily Business Show got it for him. Yeah. You know, Chris, Chris like, really suppressing the Daily Business Show early. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's something you kind of have to do, but at the same time, it's four to trash. If you're not wizard, that is harder to sustain. Definitely a hard pill to swallow. Yeah. Yeah. 
And getting that, that biotic, I, you know, Greg, I guess, just kind of identified, well, he doesn't have a way to get rid of biotic, so it's okay, I'm losing these sand sands, because I'll eventually just draw biotic, I'm not flooded, I got little engine resed, and my economy is outpacing any siphons. Right. So I eventually just win this game if I can block uh, Apocalypse, yeah. which having Apocalypse in the bin certainly helped. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's a good way to block it. <laughs> Yeah, it, you're gonna have to really telegraph when you're setting up Apocalypse, and I can I can hold cards in hand for that moment should it come. Exactly. So that takes uh, it to game two of the finals. So yeah. Uh, yeah, any last thoughts on that one? No, that was uh, that was it was really good. It was uh, I think it was a very there were a lot of difficult decisions for the runner. You know, in terms of do I trash this or do I just go for it? And I think trashing was the smart move, and it just didn't didn't pay off though. So. Uh, yeah, great game. Yeah, I, I don't know. Trashing, I think he went a little bit too hard on trashing. Yeah, I think, like, I think he should DBS have been setting up. Yeah. He should have been setting up more, like, for the apocalypse. That's what his deck's about. Mm -hmm. He should have, like, you know, the economic game was slipping away from him. He, he missed the first siphon. Um, the siphons after that, you know, like, one of them, Greg was able to basically dodge by going down to two credits. Um, he only really hit one siphon full on, and by that point, like, you know, Greg was just making like eight credits on his turn, so it didn't matter anymore. Right. So you know, you couldn't suppress his econ. Your econ wasn't able to compete. He had to just kind of build up for apocalypse, um, which he could have done. You know, he could have just got a huge economic advantage just by getting credits, ignore the board state, let him score out the the two ones, and then apocalypse, and then hit hard. Right. Um, but he knows the deck way better than me. I've never really played that deck, so <laughs> I'd be curious to hear. Uh, I'm sure Chris watches this channel, so I'm sure he'll leave us some comments explaining um, kind of the, the decisions that we're going through as head in that game. Uh, anyway, that that's the game. That we'll have one more game up from regionals here. Uh, well, there's a couple more that we might commentate later, but we have the final, final game up coming up next. That'll be ETF versus Wizard, so you can look forward to that. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Awesome. Thanks, guys.